What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow, we're talking about date and time actions, and we're going to talk about one of the most useful, the convert time zone action. So, as we've kind of covered in other Microsoft Flow videos, Flow runs in the context of UTC time. So, current time, and if you use the get future time or get past time, everything is recorded in UTC. This is fine for some people, but for the majority of the world, you probably want things to go in your current time zones. So for instance, if you wanted to send an email to a recipient, but you didn't want to send it at Sunday at 9 p.m., you actually wanted it to arrive as they're sort of going through their morning at sort of 9.30 in the morning on the Monday morning, we may need to use the convert the time zone action to make sure we are you know, referencing the right time zone for that email. Let's take a look at it today. So we've got a manual trigger flow here with a current time action. So this is going to return the time in UTC. We're actually going to use this later on. We can go to new step. We can go to built in, we can go to date and time, and we're going to go to the convert time zone action here. So, the convert to time zone action, we have four inputs we have base time, we have source time zone, destination time zone, and we also have format string. So if we look at base time first, so we need a time, um, like a source time to pass into this convert to time zone. So that's where the current time is going to come in useful. So the current time that we've got in the, in the previous action where I put in here, but you could use any sort of time field that you've got in your Microsoft flow. The source time zone, you need to know what the time zone is that your source is coming from so that you can output it. Just Microsoft Flow is not going to know that this comes from UTC, this comes from UTC minus 10 if you're in Hawaii or something like that. It's not going to know that, it's just going to get a date and time string and then we're going to do something with it. So you need to know where that comes from. So in our instance, because we're using the current time action, I know that is UTC zero, so or UTC. So UTC coordinate universal time. Choose that one. Next, we're going to talk about the destination time zone. So we can specify a destination time zone to be whatever we want. So we could have, uh, you know, um, Greenland, for instance, is three hours minus G you know, UTC. So now that we've got those, we know that we are going to pass in the UTC current time, the source time zone we're specifying here, and the output we're going to get here. But this also has the ability to format the string that we are getting out. Now UTC is not always the most helpful of strings that you get because you get the sort of reverse date and time, um, the, the reverse date first and sort of like you know, 2019 10 dash you know 04 and then we get the time after that. That's not always the most user friendly, so especially if you want to put this in an email or maybe you need to do some more, some other sort of manipulation with it, you may want to format that in a different way. This action actually has that built in. So here are the options that we get by default out of the box, um, but you can add a custom one in to do something else as well. So we've got the short date pattern, uh, 6 15 2019 so that's the US short date pattern not um, rest of the world date pattern uh, long date pattern so Monday June 15th 2019 we've got full date uh, full date slash time pattern short time so Monday June 15th uh, 2019 but adding the time onto it the full so again uh, adding more time onto it so this includes seconds now General date and time short, so again, just the date and time. Again, this is US date and time, not rest of the world date and time. So the, the month and the date are reversed. That's an important thing to note. Uh, month day pattern, so June 15. Uh, round trip date time pattern. So this is kind of like the, the standard UTC that we would usually see. Uh, RFC 1123 pattern, uh, so this records things with uh, the GMT instead. 
uh, sortable date time. So 2009-06. So again, similar to, similar to UTC, we just don't have uh, the long seconds on the end of it. The short time, so we're just getting the time, the long time, so again, uh, we're just getting the, the time back. Universal sortable date, uh, again, this is very similar to the, the UTC standard, uh, the full one being adding in the, the day and the month, and just the year pattern here. So let's choose something like, uh, what have we got? Um, full date time pattern long, let's choose that for instance. And we're gonna, we're gonna test this flow now. So I'll perform the trigger, we'll save and test, we'll run the flow, it's all successful. So this is that UTC pattern I've been talking about. This is like how it is stored in a database, for instance. Now we'll expand the convert to time zone. So we know what it was. We know um, so we know what the uh, what the format was. We know what we're converting to Greenland Standard Time, and we can see here. So um, so the input is fourteen twenty eight, and the output is twelve twenty eight. So this so it says Sunday October sixth, you know, twenty nineteen twelve twenty eight. So it's converted that time zone across from uh, what is the um, universal, um, the UTC code that we've got into the Greenland code, and we've also formatted that as an output. So that is a really, really powerful tool, especially when you're working with time zones. With Microsoft Flow working in UTC time, this can lead to issues that you see uh, when working with time zones and things like that, returning, you know, the current time and stuff like that. So convert to time zones is a really useful thing, especially if your business works in a time zone other than what's in UTC. So in the UK, we are okay for the mo for half a year, not okay for the other half a year when it comes to UTC. Um, so this might be really useful for countries that are outside of that UTC zone. So what do you guys think? What do you use this for currently? What do you plan to use this for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate a like. If you could share this with your friends and ask people to subscribe to this channel, that'd be great. Ciao for now.